Hey Jacob, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, so you're doing your very first endurance adventure race. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go back a bit. Um, were you an athlete in high school? Yeah, uh, I did uh, soccer. I played a lot of soccer. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, I was in a small school, so there wasn't okay. very many athletic programs. And, and what there was, I wasn't very interested in. I like soccer a lot because you get to run around and kick a ball and shit, so it's a lot of fun. Very cool, and that's an excellent endurance sport. Yeah. Um, so after high school, uh, you joined the Marines, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what did you do in the Marines? Uh, I fixed helicopters nice. uh, for about nine years. Yeah, uh, so I, I joined the Marine Corps, went through the school and everything. They taught me how to fix helicopters, and, and that's why it was a lot of fun. Uh, pretty challenging. I got to go on a lot of deployments, see different parts of the world, meet a lot of different people. Very cool. So you're pretty mechanically inclined, though. Oh, yeah. You're oh, a mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, and how long did you serve? Nine years. All right. And before we go any further, I just wanted to thank you for your service. You know, that is awesome. I totally got the utmost respect for guys you serve. Um, so now that you're out of the military, what are you doing as far as work? Uh, I work for General Atomics right now. Uh, I'm helping build a, uh, a fusion reactor or parts for a fusion reactor that's going up in France. Uh, wow. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's really challenging work, uh, a lot of machining stuff like that, but uh, it keeps me on my toes. Yeah, I bet it does. All right, well, speaking of your work, um, you were able to work out on your breaks, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they have a lot of really excellent facilities, um, so I'm able to do all sorts of uh, weighted exercises. I can, I can do anything I want to, really. Uh, they have large open fields. They have soccer fields, softball fields. They have a saltwater pool, Olympic size. Like, nice. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, just little details, like a heavy bag, uh, uh, all sorts of things that I can use to just train. So oh, sounds like a great place. That's great you have mm -hmm. that at your dispense. Um, tell me a little bit about your workouts. Uh, so I, I've been trying to tailor my workouts more towards uh, uh, endurance um, and specifically uh, with, with my legs and uh, a little bit of upper body. Uh, so I've been splitting up my workouts into uh, between two to three workouts per day. Okay. Um, I do a weighted workout in the morning. That's generally my first workout. Mm -hmm. uh, and I focus on, on mostly on balance and stabilization, uh, uh, torso balance, uh, core balance, stuff like that. Uh, I do uh, some deadlifts, uh, squats. I do uh, like kickouts, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, uh, planking. Uh, okay. And I, I just kind of work strength building and stuff like okay. that. And then uh, my later two workouts are, are generally ones that I do at work uh, that I either use uh, field for or, or uh, they have uh, a nice little floor that we okay. can exercise on. Um, and then I'll do more towards uh, Tabata style exercises, uh, uh, cross training style exercises okay. where I'm like doing tire flipping and, mm -hmm. and hammering and stuff like that to build more, more of uh, an endurance type base. Okay. Um, so, uh, also spreading my workouts throughout the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to sustain activity throughout the day sure. through a 24-hour period. And, and as I keep training, I'll be ramping that up to uh, encompass the entire 24-hour period. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Um, and, and that brings me to what exactly does your adventure race consist of? Uh, so it starts with whitewater rafting. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that's 30 to 60 miles of that. And then uh, right after that, it's straight into uh, to trekking. Okay. Uh, so we'll be trekking through the mountains. Uh, there's uh, mountain biking, and it'll, it'll be pretty much be switching between trekking and mountain biking for okay. the rest of it. Um, nice. But yeah, they're they're not really open with the details. So oh, okay. Yeah. So element of surprise. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. cool. And uh, we don't get the maps for it until uh, the day before. Wow. And we do all of our own navigation. Wow. So And it's it's by site navigation, so mm -hmm. you have a compass and a map, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, all right, that's exciting. Yeah. All right, so um, I think your training is going and progressing as you had hoped then. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, excellent. Um, if you had one tip to give to an inspiring athlete that wants to get into this, what would it be? Do it. Just all do right. it. Just like the Nike saying, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thanks so much for sharing a glimpse into your life along with your training concept. Appreciate it, Jacob. No problem, no problem.